All right, Uncle Sam FM here. We are in episode 18 of my American Football 19 series on Football Manager 19. And here's kind of the situation. So this is my first uh, action with the United States under-20s team. And I've looked at my team. They're okay. They're not bad. Problem is, um, I took over this team right in the middle of the CONCACAF Championship Tournament. And I'm trying to qualify for the under 20s world cup and i have fitness issues obviously um kind of the good news is though is that the other teams are all going to sort of be facing the same thing but uh, my first match is against mexico who is my the strongest competition in the tournament i guess because i can't even really see anything about the other team uh i don't know it's my first time in a couple of versions playing coaching the under 20s teams for the international so i don't know what i need to do to be able to see these guys uh, i didn't have time i probably could have sent my club scout i have a i do have a scout with michigan state but um didn't have time to get that done so i'm kind of gonna have to wing it i don't really know what to expect from them uh, i don't even really i own the only uh, match condition fitness that I know for Mexico is their grayed out goalkeepers. Uh, and I, but I still can't even see their attributes. So I have no idea what I'm going to be facing here. <laughs> I, I mean, they may just absolutely run over me. <clears throat> My team, um, we're fitness has kind of made me do a couple things. I'm not crazy about, um, James acres is kind of a, he play he can play, right back or center back or defensive mid um but he's also only one of and if you saw the last episode um the coach i took over for called in and a squad that was not very well thought out i have three goalkeepers on a 20-man squad which just to me feels like a waste i don't know why you would bring in three goalkeepers when you only have 20 players but that's what he did um he so yeah i only have two players who can play in center back and so for this match to because my starting right back is at 79 percent i'm putting him on the bench i'm not going to start him at 79 percent um although acres is not really much of a better shape so my plan is to play acres first half i'll probably throw in uh santos in the second half but acres um yeah so he's not you know extremely fit he also doesn't have very many of the attributes that I would like for my right back. You know, his crossing is a five, passing only eight, you know, his, uh, teamwork only eight. So I'm I'm simplifying the game for him. He's not going to dribble much. Um, you, you know, I I have to deal with what I have. Um, I kind of the good news is like I feel good about this guy, Sam uh, Castellanos, who he's got some pretty good numbers. Um, you know for a for a winger but i'm playing him at the center attacking mid he's my number 10 so that's that's a good setup and then at right wing i have pedro paulo who i believe is he must be <laughs> yeah he's he's part brazilian i wonder how he got here okay he came up with one of the academies so um but he's pretty good he's he gives me at 14 finishing at the right wing spot i can i can move him in and play him at striker if if i want to so um so you know the, i have reason for optimism but uh i am having to play a a number eight or, or a number six key of Aldez, a defensive mid back at center back and really it's because because i had to move my only other center back out to at the fullback um valdez is kind of he slots in at center back decently well he tackles well he's you know kind of strong um good work rate and positioning so eh, the only problem is it's not one of his positions so he, he'll be playing out of position a little bit but he, he does have the attributes for it so let's dive in and see how this goes um looks like i'll be wearing my third kit playing against mexico and the um i still don't know the format for the concacaf under 20s championship i'm in a group of three and i have to advance to the next round i have to win the group but it doesn't make a lot of sense like i don't 
pretty sure that they take well this is great <laughs> team talk did not go well at all um i'm pretty sure that more than just two teams go i i'm wanting to say it's four i think four teams go from CONCACAF go to the under 20 world cup and i'm gonna just that Yeah, so pretty sure that it, they take four. Um, and I have followed the under-20s in the past, uh, followed the tournament in the past, and I'm pretty sure I even, I've even followed it under this format. I just don't remember how it goes. The CONCACAF under-20s, have they've, they've changed that format multiple times, so it's, it's kind of a moving target. Let's go with a free kick, but it comes to nothing. They're playing a 4-4-2, which I've heard some people say the 4-4-2 is overly effective in this version. I've not seen that. That's not my take, but I would don't pretend to have a comprehensive view on or knowledge on football manager. All right, let's put something together here. Now I got both my full, neither of my fullbacks dribble are very good dribblers, really, or crossers. So I have them, I have them dribbling less and crossing less. Just get the ball up to the front guys and let's make, try to make something happen there. Ooh, there's a nice ball and we're up one nothing, Up 1-0, nice finish by Aldar Gutierrez. And we'll see the replay here. Yeah, just slots it past the keeper. Aim for that far corner and put it away. All right. <clears throat> Definitely an earlier goal that I'm used to seeing. My Michigan State team right now is not, we do not finish super well. That Michigan State team kind of has to wear teams down. And Mexico with a shot on target. All right. Trying to think if I need to do some things to exert less effort now that I have a lead. Let's... um. Probably a risky move here, but I'm going to take the pressing intensity down a little bit. I really like a second goal. If I can get a second goal, I'll go to my control tactic where I drop off a little bit. Finish that. Oh, nice shot, but a good save by the keeper. Corner kick. And Mexico trying to counter, but didn't look like a great ball there. We scoop it up pretty easy. And Mexico picks up a yellow. Here we have a throw in into the box. Who another point blank save by Cecilio, the Mexico keeper. really want to get these three points if I get these three now my big problem is <clears throat> I have Panama in two days that is a really fast turnaround meanwhile Panama is, is they're recuperating they're resting it's a three-team group so while two teams are playing the other team watches and hydrates and gets ready so I'm I may have to Hope for a draw against Panama. If I can get a draw against Panama, a win and a draw will get me through, probably. Because Panama's probably not going to be Mexico. Because while Panama's playing against me, 
Mexico will be recuperating. So if I can just win here. A shot, but it's blocked. And we have another corner. Valdez to Gutierrez, crosses it in, and headed out. We get another corner from the other side. Hernandez loses the ball. I really hate having the ball in the 18 and just nothing, getting nothing out of it. I mean, I know it, you know, whatever it happens, but don't turn your back to the goal. All right. And Mexico, oh, this is bad. Whoo, good save by Birdie. Oh, corner, in the, but the header goes over. So, sweat that a little bit. All right, so we made it to halftime. Uh, I am going to tell the guys I'm pleased with how things are going. And I am going to go ahead and sub out Acres. He put in a shift. Um, pep talk. And... All right. So one half to play. I'm not going to make any changes just yet. Let's see what they're doing formation-wise. Looks like they are attacking a little bit. <laughs> Playing with a wing back on defend. And we have a yellow. I'm going to go cautious. And tell this guy to stop tackling so hard. Santos Ramirez back to Santos today to Castellon, Cast, Castellones. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to go to Google or to YouTube and learn how to pronounce that name. And we have another corner. Let's finish one of these. We've had some chances that we we probably should have finished. Mexico it looked like they're not really doing that much better than us fitness wise. I meant to look at that earlier and just didn't. I had no idea what they had, but obviously they're in the same boat as we are. And now we're just kind of playing keep away. A little rondo action, and then we put it out wide. Gutierrez to Pedro Paolo. And shot into the hands of the keeper. And they just give it right back. And we give it right back to them. Come on, guys. Well, uh, here we go. We got something. Pedro Paolo with a really hopeful shot. Valdez to Gutierrez. Castellanos. Castellanos. Yeah, I think it's Castellanos. We're going to go with that. Santos cuts in, drops it back to Pedro Paolo. Well, Pedro Paolo was way in the middle. All right, Mexico makes a sub up front. We're still dominating possession, so that's good news. I'm... I always get tempted to make a tactical change. Ooh, hoo -hoo, okay. I do need to make a sub, I think. Uh, I don't want to take out Castellanos. Castel Castellanos. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him in. Uh, maybe I'll sub him out later. Uh, let's see who's not doing well. I mean, everybody's playing okay. 
who's who, all right, who's who's my tackler? Let's let's make it defensive. Let's count it defensive so. Alright, I'm gonna bring in Little for Castellon Castellanos. I move Day to the ten. And you know what? Little's fresher, so let's drop him back, play him at the six. Okay, uh That sub, and then I, I, I think I am going to go to my control, but I'm going to like less pressing urgency. And this is actually it's kind of more of a countering tactic. Ooh. Mm. All right, let's let's if we survive this. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to demand more. Clear it anywhere will do. Santos, Pedro Paolo. <laughs> All right. This is like in, in foosball when you get the ball in the corner and you just kind of sit there and wait. All right. Santos cross and we win the corner. Coming down near to the end. I've got one more sub to make. I'm going to go ahead and make it. Get some fresh legs out there. Okay. What do I want to do? Um, you know what? Let's bring in Dixon for day. Get a little fresh legs in center mid in the middle of the park. Try and control that midfield. Alright, it's about time to go to my shut up shop tactic. Let's go ahead and do that. And make sure that I'm, yeah, pricing intensity is a little lower. Okay. Mo back to Little, to Gosling, nice ball to Santos, can't get the cross in. Alright, have a corner, and we're just going to thump it in the box here. And head it out, but we win it back. Pedro Paolo, nice hustle to go get that. Hernandez to Santos, alright now let's just try and put this thing to bed. Mexico picks up a yellow. And we're into stoppage. 20 seconds. And he's going to come after you, Gosling. Just sit there and hold it. All right. That's a big win. Nice big win over the arch rival, right? The nemesis, Mexico. Um, 12th minute goal by Aldar Gutierrez. Gets us the win. Gets us all three points. That's big. We, we need... Uh, <laughs> we might could have advanced with a draw, but that would have been really taking chances. So, yeah, feel good about that one. Um, probably would like to have a couple more goals. We did have a couple chances where we put it right to the keeper. But, you know what? We're... we're at this point in a competition like this where the matches are coming fast um survive in advance right and get you know, get the win so that's big yeah good win for us um and again looking at our schedule we'll see in two days i have to play panama who has been resting so i'm gonna have to do some heavy rotation and try to get the win um yeah. All right. Well, um, so this is Uncle Sam FM. Not the most exciting match, but hey, it's a win over Mexico. That's a big, uh, big accomplishment for our under 20s. Uh, our next live com probably be with Michigan State. As uh, we, I've not yet learned the NCAA tournament draw. I'm waiting to hear on that. Um, winning the Big Ten final means I'm automatically qualified. 
but I won't know my opponent until, well, probably for a couple days in, in game. So, so hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.